looks pretty bomb from the outside, except that rough patch job by the vent where the homeless guy snuck in. What? Yeah, dude was squatting in the locked room upstairs for like two months. <laughs> they thought it was ghosts. That's wild. Anyway, I'm doing the walking tour tomorrow. It's only like seven minutes from campus. I wish I could be there for it. Don't worry, I'll send pics. I don't think I'll get them in a the sticks. Perception's pretty spotty out there. You psyched for the weekend? Mm, I'm kind of over the whole camping thing. Don't sound so excited. I thought you loved summer kickbacks with the gang. It was fun the first three times, but I'm kind of ready for camp's life to start already. You gotta stay tight with the day ones, cuz. I can't take them all to college with me. Fine, but don't cry to me when you're stuck at those class reunions with no buffer between you and creepy Steve. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, Jean, it looks like you're having a blast at grad school based on your posts and photos. Oh, Mark. Let, let's keep Creepy Steve behind us. Get in, loser! Gotta go. Try to have Hurry fun. Up. Bye, Sam. The forest is on fire! We have to go put it out! Move, move, move! We actually come every summer. Well, that's great. This is my first year, so I guess I'll be seeing you guys every year after this. Uh, well, this is actually our grand finale. Oh, that's too bad. Well, I might as well give you the whole nine yards one last time while we're at it, right? Is someone in there over the age of 18 and want to sign these forms for me? Mom. Awesome. The first is just a liability waiver, but the rules are easy and simple here, guys. The second is just some forms to comply with. Zach, you got an army of whale bats like flying in from the coast. Uh, what leopard? what can well, what can hunt whale, a whale? Yeah, what? that's what I was gonna <laughs> say. It's like in the sky, you know? Okay. Well then I'll <laughs> splice it with something that flies. Okay. Do well, you like, all what know that the killer whale is one of the moose's top predators? What? How? Yeah, I'm sorry. Because the moose they eat fish and so they can dive up to twenty feet down. What? To get fish? What? I saw okay, this moose the moose are, First of all, a moose can swim? Yeah! Moose, moose are huge. Moose I mean, they can just walk throughout most of the lake anyway, because it's like eight <laughs> feet tall. Fair yeah, point. but apparently the, one of the number one predators for a moose is the killer whale. Because they, they don't. dive. I mean, but a moose can't, like, attack the air in your situation. That, yeah. True. But we're, no, we're saying, saying, so, okay, but all right, so like back, back on situation. topic then, we're going like, moose eagle. Moose eagle? Moose like eagle? even oh, it's God. no, <laughs> that's terrible. Like, that's a horrible combination of well, moose I mean, eagle. leave that nickname back in seventh grade Spanish class. Are you okay? Yeah. Why? Uh, you just seemed a little 
cold lately. Oh. <clears throat> Sorry, Anne. I'm fine. I was just stealing a quiet moment for myself. We have the rest of our lives to be alone. Let's make the best of the time we have now. Give me your phone. Couldn't sneak any beers. <laughs> Be another high school cliche. Hey there, mom. Oh, I see you guys have set up camp. Just a friendly reminder, going off the trails is against the rules. I know you were probably just carried away by the breathtaking beauty of nature, but we don't want to disturb our wonderful furry friends by climbing up their homes. As a matter of fact, this hardy tree here is home to some of the most majestic Avery wildlife, such as the American Sparrow, the Robin, you might even see a turkey running around here. So I just want to kind of say, I respect you. Whoa, wait, 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 let me see it. I got it. I, I can let it. me see it. I got it. There's Trust no me. way that those antlers are going to pierce the skin of a whale bat. Like, heads up! Hey! What the? Gene? Jean. Jeannie. Jean. Hey. Jean. Jeannie, hey. wake up. Hey. What happened? Dave, Ruth here decided to pop a curveball right into your head. My bad. Come on. Up to Daisy. You okay? You good, girl? Got any abs? Oh. Mm. Right here. Thanks, Mom. So, anybody up for a game? And they were never seen, nor heard from, ever again. <clears throat> what? Not scary enough for you? I've got a scary story for you. Oh yeah? Let's hear it. Crippling student debt. <sighs> oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Nostalgia alert! Why are you burning these? What? Am I supposed to keep them forever? Yes. In a shoebox. In your attic. Until the day that you die. We're gonna read them at your funeral. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm just feeling kinda weird. Like headache weird or Pepto Bismol weird? Cause Nostalgia weird, Nurse Todd. It's Nature calls. I was losing my peace of mind, looking for a way out. With 
these people all around were missing how it feels to be young. Can't tell where we're running from, but we know that we have to chase time for what is left. Learn to draw the line. Do you remember what it felt like? We could be anything. Never knew what we wanted. Oh, now it's time to choose. You're not fine. It's fine though. So then, the deadly gardener finally has the damsel cornered in the greenhouse. That's problematic, bro. What? Why does it have to be a damsel in distress? Because it sounds good in the story. Why can't it be a dude in distress? You see, that is, that is awesome alliteration. Fine. The strong, independent woman took shelter in the greenhouse. Turned out to be a trap that any man or woman or non-binary protagonist could find themselves in. When the gardener finally has her cornered in the greenhouse, he raises his child. <laughs> and then, there's a scream. And then they all live happily ever after. Good night! Was that Violet? Violet? Violet! Violet? Anything? No. Look. Oh, are those bear tracks? Do bears even live here? No. Well, it wasn't a goddamn squirrel. What are we gonna do? What do you mean, what are we gonna do? It's our friend out there, we have to help her. Todd, we're not exactly equipped to box with Sasquatch. She's right, we need to go get help. Oh yeah, I'm sure that bobble-headed ranger will just wrestle her right to the ground. Guys, guys, stop! Panicking. Look, we're not gonna help Violet by running straight into danger. Celica's right. We we need to get help. But we also need to wait here in case she comes back. Right. There's four of us. You two stay here, we'll go get help. I didn't volunteer as tribute. Hurry, go. No, not you. We're ducks. We're sitting ducks. We're juicy, right for the picking ducks. We're in the middle. Zach. In. Out. We have to look for her. Come again? Uh, we'll stay within shouting distance. You'll go this way, I'll go this way, and we're gonna meet back here at this tree. Oh, this tree. This tree that looks exactly like every other tree. Give me your shirt. Come on, give me your shirt. All right, I'm gonna tie it around this tree, and that way, when if anything goes wrong, or you find her, we'll know exactly where to meet back up, okay? How's that sound? What if it were you out there? We're ducks. We're walking ducks. Walking through the woods. Probably gonna die. Whose idea was it to split up in the first place? Suck. Hey Ruth, aren't you a sight for sore eyes? Oh my Jesus. You scared the crap out of us. Are you hurt? Violet. Oh my God. Zach, come and help me. She ripped out my heart. She'll leave you behind. And we'll tear us all apart. Violet? Suck, just surrender. Let's bid Jean farewell. Come take my hand and join me in hell. You can run from me. Todd, stop! Zach? Stop! <laughs> Zach? Whoa, 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 slow down. Hey. 
she's back there. She's she's it was like singing or something. There was somebody behind her and they were singing. Okay, okay, relax. All right, take a deep breath. In. Out. She's gone, dude. All right, she is so dead. And there was somebody like singing with her, and they were singing together. But she also had a gash in her, so I don't know how she was singing. But okay, she hold was. up. You're not you're not making any sense. Did you find her? Yeah, I found her. She's back there. Yeah, she's very hurt. She's dead, dude. Oh, um, I, I, I don't know how, but she's like, what? I'll give you a head start, Mom. <laughs> We need to call somebody. We need to get help. Hey, nature girl. <gasps> Am I in time for the spooky campfire stories? Sam? I thought... We, we need help. Look, our friend's out there in the woods and there's like a bear or something. We need to get the police or a search party. Cause it's pathetic to make such a fuss About a stupid weekend to hang with your buds Sam? Now Zach lost his head Violet had her turn Tots trapped in the shadows. Now sell it, cuck and burn. Get away from him, Celica! off in your heart, one by one. But I love them. Jean. I love them. Jean. 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 Is she okay? Jean. 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 Hey. Hey. Come on. Up, up, up. Up you get. Uh, babe Ruth here decided to pop one straight into your noggin. Oh God. Oh. Thank God. Uh, are you okay? I love you. Oh, I'd hope so after a decade and a half. I love you, Mom! <laughs> okay, sure! Can we group up, guys? Can we get in oh. here? Oh, this is sweet. Okay, it's <laughs> a little uh, close, guys. All right. This is weird. So, I had the so. craziest dream. Yeah? Were you not in Kansas anymore? Okay, well, if you're fine, we have a hammock to go set up. Dibs on laying in it first. No, oh. what? Oh, don't you dare touch that back! Hey! Hey! You run like a whale back. 